welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a little planner update with you guys. I'm not going to be on screen for this so hopefully you guys are okay with that. I did get some feedback from y'all that you didn't really get to see the pages and stuff so I tried to switch up the angle of my camera and we're gonna pray that this goes well. But here are my two planners. So originally I found this planner company, I can't even remember how. I think it was just maybe Instagram or YouTube. Um, there is a huge planner community on YouTube and of course a lot of planners as well. I believe another famous one is the Erin Conrad planner and I just really liked the layout of this planner which is why I decided to splurge on this planner. Now for someone that is on the fence and you don't want to go ahead and purchase these planners right away you can just go to Simplified on their website. They have free printables where you can print out some of the planner pages and just try it out. If you guys know me at all, I'm a completely impatient person, so of course I just bought the planner right away. And this is the one I initially picked up. This is their daily planner. And I really like this layout really quick. This is just a band you can purchase on their site. You can pick them up in packs of two and it's nice because you can just use it to hold the planner. It's just like a big rubber band and it's super duper cute and they have multiple colors and it has this cute little pineapple on it if you guys care to see that. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to use this angle because I have my viewfinder turned around too. So really like that. It's just like very well thought out of stuff. And so this is my planner and this is a really nice hard shell, you know, cover. And this is the print that I chose. It's a watercolor floral. And then they had like six prints to choose from for the calendar year. And they do a academic planner as well. Those launch, I believe, April 3rd for the year 2019 through 2020. If you guys are in school, you might wanna consider the academic planners. I personally like a yearly planner, so these ones go January 2019 through December. So I'll pick up my 2020 planner sometime in September is the launch. And then this year they are doing a cover reveal for the planners for, you know, the academic and the 2020 covers. So I'm super excited to see that. So really quick, I want to show you the boxes that the planners come in. These are keepsake boxes. It was their 10 year anniversary this year. So they came out with a pink box. Usually the cover, the boxes are blue, like a navy blue. And these are very nice boxes. So you can use it to store like memories. Or for me, for instance, what I plan on doing with this is once the year is over, I'm going to put my 2019 planner in here and keep it. And so I got a box for each of them. As you can see, the weekly planner has a smaller box, but they're identical. So that was a really nice touch and I just wanted to show it to you guys. So <laughs> this is the cover. I bought some stickers and I just put my name on it here. Um, so it just says Karen Harris. This is a little grocery list for my job that I completed actually. So now you can see here is what it looks like. Just to compare the two sizes. So Simplified has many different planner options. I picked up both because I wanted to try them out and see. I feel like just from having used these, I prefer the daily because I like to have my schedule and things mapped out on a daily and I like having all the space to make notes. So like I first started out telling you guys, the daily has a little cover pocket here. This is a nice hard case and there's the binder tip, um, you know, pointy bits there. And then these, she actually did a collab with Target. So I picked up uh, some of these, this is just like a old gift card, but I picked up a whole bunch of these cause they were on clearance. So I bought a bunch of her stickers and put them here in the side pocket. And then all of the daily planners come with their own 
um, set of stickers as well. So I've used a few, but I still have a few left as well. And then here is the first page where you write your name. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's not too bright. Um, but yeah, that's the first page. And then here's a letter from Emily. And then this stuff I wish I had had more time for, but this is like the prep and she gives you like the process of simplifying. This is the yearly calendar. These are all the holidays. There's some prep work you can do. I haven't done any of this, um, which I kind of feel like I did it mentally, but I didn't really do it like physically. Um, so maybe next year I'll be more prepared for stuff like that. This is just like writing down your routines. We don't as a family really have a routine. So it's kind of embarrassing, but I didn't do any of that stuff. And then they do, um, the whole month of January, they do a simplicity, um, challenge. And I really liked that too, because they give you a different task every day of January. And then you get into the monthly calendar so i like to use my monthly calendar or this monthly view um for my videos and mostly i upload every other day so as you can see i have a video idea written down for every other day now i do write this in pencil because it is subjected to change um, but that's kind of what i use that for and i love that this is an example of what the daily page layout is like. As you guys can see, I've written down so many things. So let's go to a day here. Now, this was when I was in Las Vegas for work in January. So I didn't have stuff scheduled and I got these stickers from ColourPop. So I just wanted to use them up. But as you can see, there is a hourly um, space here. So if you have appointments and stuff, that's where you would want to put it. Here is a to-do list, which is so handy because if you're a busy mom and stuff, you can make grocery lists or just tasks. I think this would be a really nice planner to have at work too if you have lists of tasks that you like to write down. I love to write down stuff. I love to make lists so this is why I really like this planner. This note section is so handy. Again if you want to do like dinner plans or you like for me for example I write down like if I buy any makeup I try to write down write that down here. It's just handy. Super duper cute and here's more Las Vegas and here is happy to be home. So this is the weekend. And as you can see, again, the weekend, the two days of the weekend are on one page, typically because you wouldn't have as many things to do on the weekend. So I just like to write down notes and then you can include a happy memory from the week just if you're interested in stuff like that. I tried to decorate a little bit. And yeah, that's just kind of how the pages continue on. Here's my February, you know, video upload schedule. And so I really, really like this. And I write down my all my bills at the beginning of the month. And as you can see, I'll write down like dinner appointments, movie plans, things like that. Um, so here is my March, which I've filled out. I've been uploading and, you know, the rest of March isn't quite done yet and yeah just lots of little notes and things here I wrote I bought uh, the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette so I try to do that and then I'm gonna try and make uh, the Will I Buy It series a bi-weekly series so I've been filling in like when I want to upload a Will I Buy It video and here are some empty uh, pages where I haven't gotten to scheduling yet but I did find some cute stickers at Target, so I've been trying to decorate, but this is what the weekly planner looks like. And then there is a last page is Tuesday, December 31st, and it's literally the end. I like the huge ring binder, and then this is the back cover, and then this is the back page of the weekly, oh gosh, blah, of the daily planner. So it's super cute. I love it. It does get a little bit heavy, but it's worth it. I like carrying it around. It makes me feel like I'm very, very organized. So this is the Simplified Weekly Planner. And you guys, I totally picked this up because there was like a quick little sale going on on the site and I wanted to grab the weekly to try out for work. I think ideally what I'll do in 2020 is get two dailies, have one at work to organize my daily tasks at work, and then one for personal use. The weekly is just a little too small for me. Um, I like the idea of it being 
small because it's he less heavy to carry around, but I love having the extra space to write notes. So here is the typical layout of a weekly planner. I'm just gonna go to like these ones, but yeah, it's basically a week is two pages and then you can kind of freely organize things. <laughs> Another thing I do wanna point out is every Sunday there are some weekly prep items. Me and Rail haven't really, or I personally haven't taken it upon myself to do any of that stuff right now. Our schedule's a little bit weird, so once we get into the swing, swing of things, I hope to achieve that. The weekly also has a huge note section, which is nice if you like to just write things down. And then that's the back cover and that's the back page. Super cute, this is the pineapple, mint pineapple cover. And I believe this is a newer cover as well. And then both planners have these color coded tabs. So each month has a color and then you'll notice that the color corresponds to the artwork up here. I don't know if that's like important to you, but it's just a nice detail. This also has a page marker, which is nice. And I wanna show you guys on my daily planner, um, Emily Lay sells these little magnetized bookmarks so you can buy those. I got this from her Target collection. Again, I found those just like on an end cap on clearance. So kind of picked up a few of those just to stock up. And then I also picked this up from her Target collection. She had a set of three notebooks and I just use this to write notes, YouTube notes, very nice quality and stuff like that. And she also sells these on her website and basically they fit in the front pocket of your planner. I don't wanna shove this in there <laughs> with the stickers, but I just leave it there and then I just close my planner and put my little band on it and that holds everything together just fine. And then, I have a little bit of a haul because she was 40% off or something for spring cleaning. So I just got these in the mail. This is so cute. This is her Simplified Planner sticker book and it comes with a bunch of cute stickers to go in the planner. And I'm so excited for this because these are so flipping cute. So I really gotten sucked into this whole thing. And the other nice thing too about Emily Lay is um, you get like monthly, weekly-ish newsletters where you get so many tips on simplifying your life and being more organized and I love that. Luckily for me, I feel like growing up, my mom was re really organized and our house was always like immaculately clean. So a little bit of that has like trickled down to me. Um, but I am such a like write everything down person. So I love having all of these systems. And also I picked up more stickers and these color coded dots. People use these for like color coding their life. And then I got more stickers because who doesn't love stickers? So excited to hold on to those. And then I also picked up, she does have these cute little notebooks. So this is a weekly meal calendar. So you can write down your different meals if you are trying to be more organized like me. <laughs> so I kind of love that. And then I picked up these little whiteboards from her. I didn't realize they were gonna be so small, but I thought these would be so cute to put on our fridge. So there's a to-do list. This is just a line notes dry eraser. And then this is just like a, more like a meal prep kind of thing. So these are so adorable and super cute. And I'm hoping it will help us get organized. So I have that. Here's my little pouch and I carry around my stationery in here. So these are her go-to pens for the planner. Um, this again was a set she launched with her collab at Target. So here is the set I bought at Target. She also has her own set on her website. Um, I didn't buy the one on the website because this one was cheaper and I have way too many pens. I'm a little bit obsessed with stationery, low key. I'm sure you can already tell that. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys in depth, kind of getting into plannering. And I know I had one subscriber for sure ask me, like she t told me multiple times that she was like really excited for an update. So I wanted to film this and get it up for you guys in case you were considering picking this up and joining the movement. Like I said, her academic planners come out sometime in April. I will try and link all the information down in the description box. Also, if you guys want $10 off your simplified purchase, I do have a link 
and you get $10 off and I think I get like points towards my next purchase. So if that's something you guys are interested in, if you're planning on picking one of these up, it would mean a lot to me if you use my link. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't get any money out of it. It's just points I earn towards future purchases. So no harm, no foul. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope I answered some questions and you got to kind of see what I do with my planners. And if you have any further questions, leave them down in the comments and I will get to all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit different from what I usually do, but I hope you found it useful. Thank you guys and have a good day. Bye.